Today's story is "How to Put an Octopus to Bed" by Sherry Dusky Rinker, illustrated by Vivian Schwartz. Giggly, squiggly, oh so wiggly, super silly, can't sit stilly, with Mama O and Octopop, little Floyd just never stops. But now, Mama yawns. It's getting late. Let's get to bed. It's nearly eight. Oh, okay. I'll lead the way, and then he's off in a bubbly spray. Bath time. Floyd has a giant grin. I'll fill the tub. You two get in. You have to get clean every day. That's what you two always say. Bear, you sit there and don't get wet. You can see how clean they get. Ma and Pop stand by, confused, a tad concerned, a bit amused. They think about what Floyd's just said. He thinks he's putting them to bed. I'll check the water. It's just fine. Here, have some bubble bath of mine. Ta-da! Floyd gives a little spin. Now it's ready. Jump on in. But those bubbles, all those bubbles, catch Floyd's eye, bouncing, floating, flying high. Floyd tries to grab and pop a few, then piles them up. To go right through, and Floyd is in, and right away, Floyd starts to splash about and play. Floyd giggles, squiggles, swims for joy. Ma tries to wash that wiggly boy, but wait, Floyd squeals. We're not through. You both need your bath now too. Suddenly, one arm makes a splash, then another, and a thrash. Another arm makes a plop, and then a great big splashy flop, and then two arms together pop. Then eight arms. All go up and drop. With that giant super splash, soap and toys fly high, then crash. Bubbly water is everywhere. One big bubble lands on Bear. Now we're all clean. Wow, that was fun. Now let's dry off, and then we're done. All wrapped up. In a towel to dry, Floyd wiggles out and gives a cry. Wait, it's not time for bed, not yet. You need to brush. Did you forget? We all get our toothbrushes now. Just watch me. I'll show you how. And very soon, Floyd, Ma, and Pop. Are soaked in foamy toothpaste slop, and the mirrors, and counter, and step-up chair, the walls, the floor, and teddy bear. Okay, let's go now. Follow me. Let's see how quick you two can be. Into their room in record time, as Teddy's dragged along behind. Get ready for the nightly rumble, the octo jammy tangle tumble, twist and lift and hold on strong. PJs are on, but something's wrong. Okay, no problem, little guy. We'll just give this one more try. It looks a little not quite right. That part's too loose. 
That part's too tight. Some armholes have too many arms. Some holes have way too few. Floyd's head stuck in an armhole there. Okay, this just won't do. All those squiggly arms and all those sleeves, a giant octo mess. Ma and Pop keep working hard to get Bouncy Floyd all dressed. Another try, now really tangled, twisted, mangled, strangely angled. Floyd laughs a bouncy belly laugh at all the tangled trouble, and then, oops! As Floyd jumps all about, out sneaks a little bubble. The three of them, determined now, try it one more time. And when they all stand back to look, all the PJs are on just fine. Okay, okay, you're almost ready. I just need to grab your teddies. Found them. Floyd yells, overjoyed. Um, what's that you're holding, Floyd? Um, don't be silly. These are bears, not the bears. In those hands, there. Oh, this? This is just a little snack. No snacks now, Floyd. Let's put those back. But the bears would like a tiny bite. No, sir. Absolutely not. The bears have had enough tonight. We're good to go," says Mama. "Now we're all ready. Grab your teddy, everyone. It's time for bed." Floyd's parents kiss him on the head. Eight little arms wrap in a hug round his parents, oh so tight. And then Floyd whispers, "I love you both," and click, off goes the light. Floyd's wiggly arms stretch way out straight, reaching up, up toward the sky. He yawns a great big tired yawn, and lets out a long, deep sigh. I'm so sleepy now," says Floyd. "From that big job I had to do, it's not easy to get you both to bed." You're a lot of work, you two, but Ma and Pop are so wiped out. They're both snoozing, nice and sound. They were trying to get Floyd to sleep, but the job got turned around. Floyd turns one last somersault, rubs his eyes, scratches his head. He reaches out for Teddy Bear. And curls up into bed. It's peaceful, dark, and quiet now. The day is finally through. Floyd whispers into Teddy's ear, "Bear, I saved this one for you."